If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books... on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more... electrified? <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Uh, Lisa seems really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The souvenir shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. You're here. Let's begin, shall we? Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Oh, is that how you see it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes! Let us pick! Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This pair? Soft, puffy, and very comfortable. Certain to make a little girl, well, in this case a woman, look quite adorable. After all, they're the same kind worn by toy dolls. They're practically a badge of cuteness. Bloomers? 
I'm sure to attract some strange looks if I dress up like a small child in public. Do you have some strange hobby you're not telling me about? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This is the toy doll I was talking about earlier. Doesn't she look lovely in those shorts? Hmm. It does look a little bit terrifying, doesn't it? I wonder if you could find some other use for it. Voodoo doll? Have you lost your mind? What could I have possibly done to deserve this? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Sure, there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. My goodness! This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the Northern Border Wind investigation. What is it doing here? You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My, my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa, too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. <sighs> well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. Let's go and find the next overdue book. Good Hunter. Table for two? Three! Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're going to eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Work is that bad, huh? <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. This seems like the sort of staple bar food you'd find at the tavern. It has an extremely strong flavor, so drinkers love it because they can actually taste it. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. Good Hunter's signature dish. If it's what you want, I'll try anything once. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Mmm, finished ordering? Sit here, let's dine together. Mmm, beautifully tender and cooked to perfection. No wonder it's their signature dish. It's a shame I can't have more, but a witch must watch her physique. Ugh, Paimon's so full. Time is getting on. 
I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. Hmm. <sighs> she means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. <sighs> okay then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop then, cutie. This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Mist flowers? Over there in the corner. But don't touch them with your bare hands. You'll get frostbite. You want them? You're sure? What an unusual choice. It's just that Lisa seems to use Electro quite a lot. Things could get a little bit dangerous. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? Dandelions are one of our classics, and a personal favorite of Miss Flora, the shop owner. I know what you're thinking. Most flower shops don't sell dandelions. They are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. You sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay, time to get back to business. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Oh! Uh, yes. Well, what happened was... Uh, was... Oh no, what am I gonna do? I... I lost the book. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three, no, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it! Use your elemental sight to look for clues!
Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm, so what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right cutie? Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frightened the turtle back inside his shell. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. It's like you can read my mind. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions.
interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. Who... who are you? The librarian, although I believe that should be quite clear already. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... the secret. Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such... Concentrated elemental power! P please don't! Hmm. <laughs> Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies! Paimon remembers that name! Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Uh... Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? 
There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me, are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Good, you're amenable to reason then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. You've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> the Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. <laughs> 